everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and I'm here with my seventh, oh, here comes Madeline. I'm here with my seventh update. My name is No. I'm here with No. I'm here with my seventh update for, oh, you're always out of frame. For Nightmare on Panning Street, this was created by Jalon and Valerie for the Fantastic Ladies. It started Halloween 2021 and runs through Halloween 2022 and it's all about horror movies, so... This is one of my favorite projects ever because I love horror movies. Um, I honestly don't know if there's anything else I need to say. So stuff will be linked down below. I, it's been a while since I filmed a video because I've been so crazy. Oh, and she's gone because work has been so crazy and I missed a couple of updates for some other projects. Oh, so we're just gonna... We're just going to try to do this. So I've been working on seven products and I've got two rollouts, which means I've got, so fun. it will be so fun if you go to school. So I've got two products rolling in. So first I was working on the prompt scream, an item that makes you scream with delight. And I've been really getting into perfumes lately and particularly the brand Skylar and they have a scent club that I joined and every month you get a, a new roller ball and I have this one in the scent Emerald Rain which was just the perfect spring scent. It's mint Hello, and it's mint and pear blossom and I think like magnolia or something. I don't remember but it is delightful. My goal was to use this 13 times which I needed to use it eight more times, which I actually used it nine times because I didn't realize that I had hit my 13, but that's fine because it's a beautiful scent and it paired really nicely with the little Armani sample that I was working on for my Throwback 30 and it just, it smells so good. This is such a good springtime perfume. So this one is rolling out. Then for the Shining, twins an item for which you have a backup and I don't have a backup of this particular like scent but I have a bunch of these pharmacy green clean cleansing bombs I've got two others that were in the set that this came in plus one like regular full size so I've got a lot of cleansing bombs this is in the peach time scent I had used it 29 I had used it 29 times as of last update and I only needed to use it six more times and it is empty. So I got 35 uses out of this, which I don't think is too bad for this for this little guy. So that one is also rolling out. What honey? Be quiet. I I'm filming a video. You be quiet. Then the the next is seven, an item still in its box packaging. What's in the box? I can't do it as good as Brad Pitt, but. So I brought in my Marc Jacobs Iconic Eye Palette in Cherific because whoop, it is obviously still in the box because it's just a, it's, if you've seen the Marc Jacobs palettes, you know, they're very like long and kind of oval and they're just kind of a little bit of a pain to store. Plus the box is just so cute with all these little cherries on it. So this is what the palette looks like. My goal for this is to use each shade three times. Where is my thing? Right? Where's my tracker? Oh my gosh. So I have, I've used the palette itself a total of six times and I've actually hit three uses on three of the shades. So starting from here, this is the shade Decadent. I've used that three times. This is the shade Juicy. I've worn this twice. This is going to be really hard to see, but I have this all in my transition area, but it's basically, it's more of like a, a satin, I think, as opposed to an actual matte, but it's very, it's a very light pink, but it really blends out to like nothing. So, so I've got how was I holding this up? I don't even know. Was I holding it this way? So I've got two uses on that. This is delicious. I've got my three uses. This is Ask For. I've used it once. I actually have, this one is on my lid. It's on the inner portion 
of my lid, but I also have, I have one of my Stila Glitter and Glows, the one that's in my Beauty A to Z, like all over my lid, so I can't really differentiate the shades, but that's fine. This is Extra. I have used this once, and that is today. This is in like my outer corner. This is Cherries, which I also have on today, topped over the Extra in my outer corner. I've used this three times, so I'm done with that one. This is on top. I've used it once. So I've used three out of the four. I've used three out of the seven shadows there three times. I've got four more to go. I I was really, because I had, I had a big thing to do for work that I just didn't have extra time to put makeup on most of the week last week. And then we went out of town for the weekend and I just, I was going to bring my makeup, but then I'm like, Every time we go out of town or go on a trip or whatever, I always bring a full face and I never do it. So I I just didn't even bother. So there was almost a week where I didn't wear makeup at all. If I had been able to wear makeup, this would have been out for this month. But unfortunately, I didn't. So it's not. So this one is going to stay in for one more month. But that will definitely be out next month. Then, actually, most of the... <laughs> Most of these items would have been done this month if I had worn makeup the past like five, six days, but I didn't, so they're sticking around. Next, I have for Rosemary's Baby, a new item in your collection, and I had, at the time, just bought this Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I picked it up at TJ Maxx. I have the shade number 21. I really like this BB Cream. The only thing is, and I mix it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Of course, right now, this is going to be a little, it's not going to be the right shade because I'm already tan. My goal is to use this 13 times. I've got 11 uses on it, so I only need to use it two more times. My only thing with this is, and obviously you can see how that's not my shade right now, but it's got a very gray cast to it. Which, like I said, if I if I mix, especially something like my Auric Glow Lust, Pi, uh, I have the shade Pyrite, so that's a little bit, in the wintertime, that shade is a little bit too dark to use as, like, a highlighter or whatever, but as we're getting more into the end of spring and the beginning of summer, that is going to be a really good mixer for my lighter foundations. So I only have two more uses on this one, and then it'll be done for next month. Another one that, again, if I would, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop saying this because it's like, it's for everything. But the next one is for the, the next one is for the prompt Fright Night, a red item or something vampire themed. So I have my lip liner from the lip bar in the shade Straight Face, which is what, it's a very red lip liner. My goal was to use this 13 times and I've got 10 uses on it. So again, three more uses and this will be done next month. I'm going to have lots of rollouts next month. Then for Children of the Corn, a food themed item, I chose my Ulta Beauty Probiotic Cream Mask because, you know, it's like, it's probiotic plus yogurt extract and there's pictures of raspberries and like a little... I don't know if you can even see it, a little yogurt tub. I have two of these. These are, okay, these say they're single use. I get way more than one use out of these. So I did end up using this whole package. I got, I'll say three and a half uses out of this. Because what I do is I, I use it once and then all the, remaining stuff I scrape. I have this little pharmacy tub thing and I scrape everything else into it. So this is the remainder of the second packet, which I would estimate I probably have about three uses in there. I, I guess if you like slather on the thickest layer possible, this is a single use mask, but I don't like to do that. I really... I really wish that Ulta would sell this mask 
in the jars because they only sell it in these single use packets and I really like this mask but I don't I don't want to buy single use foil packets like this anymore so it is what it is but I'm anticipating this will be done for next month as well and then lastly uh, the ring an item you want to expose the ring on the pan and I have this really old NYC Smooth Skin BB Radiance Perfecting Powder. This is in the shade Naturally Beige. I had a lot of use on this already. It's it's quite old. My goal was to hit pan. I wasn't sure how I was going to use it. At first I was like, oh, I'll just use this as a finishing powder. But I just, I feel like it's a little too, it's a little too heavy for my tastes as a finishing powder. So what I've actually been doing, I have used this 16 times, and I know I've talked about this a lot before, but I, before I do my primer, I set my face with powder, then I do setting spray, and then I do my primer. So I've been alternating between this one and then the powder that I have in my fantasy project, just in order to like actually get use on this quicker. So, I don't, I didn't take, you know, I don't take pictures, but I'm not quite sure how far away I am from pan. I think I'm a little, I mean, it's definitely used, and like I said, it had quite a bit of use on it before I brought it into the project, so I don't know. I definitely think I will have pan on it before the end of the project. I just don't know when that'll be. So now that I am rolling out two items, I am rolling in two more. And the first one, the first prompt I rolled was get out a product you want out of your collection. And I'm picking this Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation. This is in the shade Classic Ivory. I've had this for a very, very long time. You can see I've already used, I had, I used it in another project, maybe Child of the 80s last year. So I have some marks, but I I used my phone flashlight and I'm pretty sure I'm about here. My initial, my initial instinct is to pan this. And I think I'm going to try to finish it because this is, let's do it on my other hand. This is, well, that was more than I wanted to come out. A bit of a darker, I mean, oh my gosh, that was way too much. The shade match is going to be better for me. I don't have, you can't really see the other one anymore. But this is going to be a better shade match for me in the summertime than it would be in the wintertime. So I want to, you know, try to get as much use out of it as I can in the months where it's actually going to match my skin tone the best. So I want to bring that into finish. Then the next prompt I picked was alien, something that's one of a kind or an alien in your collection. And I really do not like peel off masks at all. So the, I mean, this, this product could actually work for either get out or alien, but I'm going to use it for Alien. This is the Freeman French Pink Clay Peel Off Mask. This is the only peel off mask I have in my collection because I hate peel off masks with a passion. And I also, besides it being one of a kind, I also want to get, get it the F out because I just, I really hate peel off masks. Like, I don't know if I put them on too thick, but then I feel like if I put them on too thin, it still doesn't work. Like whatever I do, it doesn't matter how much I put on, how long I wait, like this area all over here never, ever, ever dries. I don't get it. I hate these masks. So I want to get this out and then I will hopefully never have another peel off mask in my collection ever again. So this is probably going to take a while to get out just because I, I hate using it so much and I am working on a lot of other masks, but that's what we're going to do with that one. So that is my update for today. I think I have, I think I have 16 movies left. So I, it's going to be a little difficult, especially because I do have a, especially with the ones that I just rolled in, I have a, 
couple of goals that are a little bit harder, but I think if I really, really work at it, I can get all 40 prompts done this year in this project, and I would be really, really happy if I could do that. So that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are staying safe and sane and healthy. I haven't been paying attention. I also, I don't see any, but I hope I haven't had any lipstick all over my teeth the entire time I've been talking, so. But that is it for me, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.